Well, here we are the next morning. Jolly raining all night, which is something good for the Riverland. It doesn't rain here too much. So we had to try and light a fire with wet wood. We spared you all of that. We thought, well, I don't know. There's only so much little, 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 little music you can put up with. So we've been stoking the fire, getting ourselves organised. Just finished having some nice breakfast. I found myself a hobbit walking stick to poke my fire with. Actually, it's a pair of crutches, really, wouldn't it? Be a hobbit crutch. See that, Fozzer? <laughs> that would work, wouldn't it? I wonder how that's it. That's probably how they invented them, wouldn't it? Crutches. Then they got all soft ass and they wanted padding and stuff under your armpit. Anyway, I'm just having a look in this drum. I reckon we might um, scoop a bit of stuff off the top before we chuck our first frame in. Well, I guess tidying up isn't my strong point. I found the wife of the spaghetti strainer that I was talking about a while back. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, that'll be ideal to scoop this off. We, we, we might be able to give it back to her if we can get it clean. Ah, oh, too many crickets. Those were the days trying to clean the wax up with that idea. But anyway, do you reckon she'd want that back? I don't know. Just see if we get caught. <laughs> oh, it's getting clean already. Look at that. <laughs> this might be a... Oh, that's very clever. Put it where I'm going to stand in a minute. Right. Getting cleaner already. We might be able to take it back inside yet. Huh. You reckon? Maybe we'll have pasta for dinner. What do you reckon? Oh. What would that be? That'd be like bee flavoured pasta, wouldn't it? Just add a little bit of kick to the sauce. Maybe not. Maybe we, since we've since we've still kept hold of it, maybe we'll just keep it for this project. It could be the the scooper upper of the pot. <laughs> anyway, it's cleaning up, which is good. I think our water's starting to boil here. I was talking to an older beekeeper who's been doing this all his life, and he was telling me that he had a mate that used to come around and get the wax moth maggots to put on his hook to go fishing with. So if you get really bored and your whole bee project goes to shit, you could just put a sign out the front, fish bait, and you could just sell the wax moth worms. I don't know, but it'd be pretty grim if that's the case. Anyway, that's what we're trying to avoid. We're gonna try and clean up these frames so as when we give them back to our girls in the spring, there won't be any eggs and they'll be all nice and clean and we can put our new wax on. What's that, kid? Wax on, wax off? I think I've done that joke before, but anyway, it makes sense. Ah, here we go. So if you're wondering what was going on last time, there have got a few comments saying, why didn't you scrape the rest of the stuff off? Well, this is why, because we were gonna do it this way, so, but, We'll find out together whether it actually works. So here goes nothing. Look at that. Even found a patented dipping stick in me wood heap. So that's kind of cool. Whew. It's almost a medieval tool as well, isn't it? Wow, that bloody hurt. You got that stuck in your neck, wouldn't it? Mind you, that might be a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie rather than a beekeeping movie. But moving right along, let's see if we can dip some frames. I just kick my fire back under the bricks. Well, we'll give it a try and see whether it's warm enough, I guess. We'll just start with one. Oh, this could be a slow process. You might not get home for lunch yet, lad. <laughs> oh, look at that, though. That looks pretty good. I'd be happy with that. Just wondering whether it's hot enough to kill those larvae that are sitting in here. Where's my screwdriver? A patented testing bit of equipment. I wonder if that's going to... Yeah, well, it hasn't done them a lot of good, so that's good. The little blighters get in that strip where the wax is meant to go and breed on. Bloody little stinkers. Charming creature they are. Anyway, a bit of heat should order to kill their eggs, I reckon. That looks pretty clean to me. Not that that frame's in the best of condition, but it's not too terrible. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. May the slugs go to somewhere else other than in my bee box. That doesn't go together at all. <laughs> what do you reckon? Shall we try three? This is, uh, this is how this goes, isn't it? You get all adventurous and you start getting more and more enthusiastic. But that was my idea of having a bigger drum. I thought, well, we could just... Ah! I don't think my paint and poking stick's quite right. So what's for lunch, darling? Oh, I don't know. Let's have some bee frame soup. What do you reckon? Ooh, yum. Oh, it'll be lovely. <laughs> Put that in a bowl and see how you get on. <laughs> that one didn't quite 
get organised. We'll go back around for that one. That one's a bit older. A bit like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Nearly past the use by date. You might have to put up with me for a bit longer. You almost can trade me in. I don't really want to go to the retirement village. I don't think it'd be very much fun for a wild bush ranger like me. I wonder when you do put me in the retirement village, I wonder if they'll let me have a bee box in the back garden. Just so I could toddle out there with me vest on and with my little hat on and go, I'm just going to go and play with my ladies. <laughs> you know, and toddle off like a little old fella. Oh man, they won't let that happen, will they? I'm fairly convinced they're not going to let me have a drum of boiling water on their back porch, so are in, especially in a 44 gallon drum with a blooming fire underneath it. You can imagine the nurses, they would go off their chops. They would not be happy. <laughs> ah, anyway, I digress. It's a little while before you put me there, anyway. <laughs> I don't think my hooks are purposely designed for this project, but anyway. Ah. Dipping, dipping, dipping. I wonder if we put the whole box in there. I wonder what that would do. Can we do that as well? What the hell? We'll do right one and see if it falls apart. These are the eight frame boxes that we're going to turn into those nice shop stands. That should be cool. That'd be one way to use them up, wouldn't it? Ooh, you know, I kill those little stinkers in there. I think that frame's in all sorts of trouble anyway, but still. Oh, that's quite hot. <laughs> Oh. They look cleaner to me. Shall we dip the whole box in and see what happens? What do you reckon? What the hell? Oh! Well, I'll just turn it over since it fitted in the box. I don't know whether this is the recommended dose, but anyway, it's probably not. It certainly won't do the glue any good. Ooh, ooh. Hot, hot. Hot, toddy. Well, it definitely stirs the worms up anyway. Stop it with the smoke. <laughs> don't think you'd want to do this inside. It's a bit like there was a box, there was a couple there, because it's winter down here, there were some folks that they had their indoor, no, they had one of those, you know those patio heatery things in their house? And they had it actually, they had it, instead of on the patio, they actually took it into the lounge room and didn't do them a whole lot of good because they don't burn perfectly pure, so they can sort of, they're not meant to be inside, so. Well, I don't know where they went, but I think they all went to sleep anyway, so there was much excitement down here on the news. See, this is a multi-purpose stick. It's a dunker and a fire stoker. <laughs> now this is the moment when the bush bee man does something probably not recommended. I was just thinking, why don't we just dunk the whole box instead of one frame at a time? So what do you reckon? Shall we just stick the whole thing in there? Yeah, what's the worst thing that can happen? We could lose eight frames in a box, I reckon. <laughs> See now, I reckon when we do the next model, we won't cut it down so low and we could just dunk the whole box straight in like that and that'll be all done in one go. What do you reckon? <sighs> Might need a pair of blooming, um, <laughs> what's the name, hot water gloves. Reminds me of when I was plucking turkeys as a lad. You used to have to dip the turkeys in there to get them blooming feathers off. Golly, those were the days. Mind you, that's probably on the homestead of show, isn't it? So let's not go there. Of course, everyone's an expert when you come up with a different idea, aren't they? The lads say, well, you shouldn't have cut it off so far, Dad. <laughs> like, but I wasn't actually planning on being that rough. Oh, I don't think it's quite acceptable anyway. I think for the purpose of the exercise, we still might do them individually so they can get a bit more whoosh. A bit more whoosh. I, mean, I don't know whether that's a professional beekeeping term or whoosh. <laughs> it's something. It's a bit like a, it's a bit like a tad more in the recipe, isn't it? You know, like I was reading the CWA cookbook. I don't know if you don't know, it's Country's Women's Association is the CWA down here, and that was the anyway. They had this cookbook, 
and it was printed back in the day when you had wood stoves and uh, it was kind of like this one recipe for making I think it was a pork roast and the recipe called for you've got to have it so is that the oven's so hot that you can't put your hand in it for the start well, well that's an interesting you know can you imagine the, the old souls in the kitchen with the wood fire stoking the shit out of it? Popping the roast in there and away she goes. Bloody hell. Hell, we've come a long way in 50 years, haven't we, as the human beings? Mind you, the bush bee man's still out here with a blooming fire in his backyard. Ah, Mr. Primitive. Guess the wood's cheaper than gas, any rate. Song go. We're just singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Anyway, you wouldn't believe the commitment we've got for this show. Fuck bloody, well it's just started to slow down a little bit so we can film the end. I'm hoping you get the general idea that we're just gonna wash up these frames and perhaps pick a day when it's not raining. I reckon, I don't know too much, but I reckon that's been reasonably successful except for the fact that I'm soaking jolly wet. <laughs> Uh, do you like the umbrella the lad got me? How cute's that? Look at that. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're not having spaghetti for tea anymore. Oh, sorry, honey. I did have it clean, I was going to bring it back, but this here muck doesn't come off at all. I do do, I'm thinking that might be the propolis that we were trying to harvest. We got, we've got a lumen about the size of a marble off of the other lot, so it looks a bit like that stuff. I'm sure if you're out there in beekeeping land and you've been doing this boiling crap in your backyard and you've stolen your wife's spaghetti scoop, drop us a line and let us know, is this the propolis or what is it? <laughs> it's not the point of the exercise. We're trying to clean the frames. The original idea was just to get rid of the blue and wax moth eggs and the old muck, so they're all cleaned up. And I think, apart from the fact that I'm soaking wet, it's been a rather successful event. So maybe get yourself set up in the backyard and have yourself a bit of a cook up. Catch you next time.